Hi, I'm Yael Averbush and I'm a professional soccer player. We all know that taking care of our mind and body are vital to our general health and well-being, but we don't all have the time to go to yoga class as often as we probably should. Here I'll take you through a 10-minute mindful stretching routine that combines some yoga and some soccer movements that will help you unwind and feel great. The mindfulness portion of this little stretching routine is gonna be about confidence. And confidence is something that we all deal with because there are so many ups and downs depending on what's going on in our life. And I think especially today, it's so easy, especially with social media, to look at other people's lives and either feel jealous or allow that to affect our own confidence or also to let people's opinions of us affect how we feel. So as we're stretching and working through this little routine of mobility today, I want you to pretend that you're kind of in a bubble where nothing can get in and influence how you feel about yourself. I want you to think about some things that you really pride yourself on and things that you love about yourself because that's where confidence stems from. And when it comes to other people's opinions, it's so important to remember that how everyone feels is a reflection of them and it's not about you. The more you can take control over your own self-belief and confidence and be strong in those things, the better. So our the stretching routine today is going to involve a lot of movements and things that make ourselves big because being confident is about being big and taking up space in the world and feeling proud of yourself doing that. So we're going to start off laying on our backs. And as you lay down on your back, I want you to stretch as long and tall as you can. So that means stretching your fingertips as far as they can go and pointing your toes down. You can alternate between pointing and flexing your feet to really feel the full extent of your body. And now as you're reaching tall, I want you to bring everything up into a ball as tight as you can, and then feel yourself get big again and stretch as long as you can. And one more time, pull everything into a nice tight ball and feel yourself get big again. Now we're gonna relax and bring our right knee into the chest. So pulling the right knee into the chest. And as you do that, just take your ankle and we're gonna do 10 rotations clockwise. Four, five, see if you can get full range of motion. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then 10 rotations counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring that leg down, left leg up, pulling it into your chest, and we're going to do the same thing. So first clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. And again, arms up over your head, fingers clasped this time, and just pushing up, reaching nice and tall. So now we're going to bring the right leg into the chest again, and this time rotate it down to the side. So you're going to extend your right arm and use that left arm to kind of pull your right knee down to the side, attempting to keep your right shoulder on the ground. So you want to keep your right shoulder and right arm down on the ground and just take that left knee as far as you can go. So as I'm pushing this left knee to the ground, I'm just holding there and you can kind of feel your body opening up into the stretch. And now knee back into the chest. And we're going to extend and do a little bit of a hamstring stretch on this right leg. If you need to bend your left knee and put it like this, that's fine. Again, knowing where you are and being OK with that is so much part of confidence. If you're able to keep that leg straight, then root your left leg into the ground. And we're going to keep this right leg bent, clasp your hands around your hamstring, and just straighten that right leg. Hold for one, two, and back down and we're gonna do five of those. So that's two, you can flex your foot for a little bit of an extra stretch. Three, four, and five. Nice flex foot, hold it, and now bring that right leg all the way down to the ground. 
And again, stretch nice and tall, interlace those fingers. And we're just gonna take a few deep breaths here again. And now same thing with the left leg. So we're gonna bring it into our chest and use that right arm to bring it around to the side while keeping the left arm extended and that left shoulder on the ground if possible. You may notice a difference between your right and left side. And again, the most important thing to do as you notice those differences or tightnesses is not to judge yourself based on them. Just notice it, maybe attend to it a little more and then kind of let that feeling go. And now bringing that leg back to the middle and we're gonna do the same thing with the hamstring stretch. So again, if you need to bend your right knee, that's fine. If not, you can leave it flat, clasp the hands behind the left hamstring. And we're gonna do one, flexing the foot if you can. And down, two, three, four, and five. And now bring that foot down to the ground. Now we're gonna sit up and we're gonna continue by opening up our hamstrings a little bit. So as you sit, and not all of us are extremely flexible, so you have to work at whatever level is appropriate for you, you wanna keep your back fairly flat. So the goal here is not to just get as far as you can, but keep your back flat and lean forward into a hamstring stretch. So now you may, for example, feel this in your hamstrings. You may feel it in your lower back. I feel it a little bit in my back. So that's why it's important to keep the back flat. If you're able to reach your toes and kind of grab your feet, that's excellent. If you can go all the way down and bring your head to your knees, awesome. If you're not at that level yet, then maybe just hold your shins or wherever you are. That's totally fine. You'll notice if you do this multiple times that each time you'll get a little bit further and just be a little bit more open. So we're just gonna hold here for another five, four, three, two, one. And then as you sit up from that, you're gonna bring the left foot in towards your groin and with the left hand reach towards the outside of the right foot. So again, now as we do this, we're thinking about taking up space and being big and confident in our approach to these stretches. No matter how flexible you are, you know, make your toes wide, really go with your shoulders and lean into it. So now I feel this on my left side, kind of in my left um, hip and lower back. You may feel it a lot in your hamstring. You may feel it in your groin. That's totally fine. Wherever you feel it is what your body needs. So you're gonna pull yourself down not beyond what you're capable of, but just so that you feel that stretch. And again, making sure you're breathing through this. So taking deep, full breaths. And now sitting up and we're just gonna switch legs. So again, like I said, a lot of this is gonna be drawn from some yoga classes that I've gone to in the past, but um, a lot is also just some general stretch, soccer type stretches and mobility work. I'm not a yoga instructor. I'm just someone who enjoys going to yoga class on occasion, enjoys moving my body and taking care of my mind and body as much as I'm able. So again, now with the right arm, you're reaching to the outside of the left foot or leg, wherever you're able to reach. And I feel it kind of in my right hip or lower back area. You may feel it elsewhere. So just taking some deep breaths into the stretch. None of this should be so much of a strain that you can't breathe deeply as you do it. And the last one seated before we move on. Now you're gonna spread your legs as wide as is comfortable. You're gonna feel this a little bit in your groin and we're gonna start by reaching towards the middle. So again, the goal is not to get all the way to the ground but instead to keep the back flat and let that take you as far as you're able. If it's right here, that's fine. If you're able to go a little bit lower or all the way to the floor, that's great. So now I feel this a lot more in my groin. And again, we're getting big, we're taking up space, we're being confident in our movements. Again, making sure you're breathing as you go.
Okay, and now this is gonna be drawn a little more from yoga, but we're going to get into the beginning of what will eventually turn into um, child's pose. So you're just gonna be sitting on your shin, but right now what we're gonna do is sitting like this, we're just going to first rotate to this side by putting the right arm on the outside of the left leg and putting our left arm behind and just rotate. So we're moving the spine through all kinds of different directions. Rotate as much as you can. Just for a couple breaths here. And then back to the middle and we're gonna do the same thing the other side. So left arm on that right leg and rotate. Oh, you can hear my back cracking as we go. Yeah, things will crack and sound a little weird. And so now into child's pose. And here now you can spread your legs a little wider and kind of let your stomach hang between them and spread your fingers nice and wide. So again, we want to take up space and feel really confident in that. And then after a few deep breaths here, we're going to push up into downward dog. And as you're in this pose, kind of just pedal your feet one at a time, stretching out those calves. I know my calves get pretty tight on a daily basis, whether you're walking or doing more intense training, the calves are always something that can get tight. And if you want to um, take turns and kind of bend your knee forward a little, you can get your Achilles in there as well. So as you're pedaling, see if you can stop and stretch that Achilles a little bit. And now we're gonna bring our right leg up and back as high as you can comfortably. You'll feel a stretch in your left hamstring and then bring it up between your hands. And we're gonna stand in this lunge pose. If that's too intense for you or you're having trouble, feel free to drop the left knee down just to take a little bit of the intensity off and you'll feel it in your left hip flexor. But if you're able, just stand nice and strong and confidently balanced into this lunge pose. And if you fall out of balance, that's okay too. Part of confidence is being self-forgiving. So make sure that you take it easy on yourself. And one thing I always try to think of as you're holding this, I'll give you one thought and idea, um, is to talk to yourself like you would talk to others. And it's a learning process. I don't always do it perfectly. So now, good job. You're gonna put your hands back down on both sides of your feet. Bring that leg back back into that downward dog, again, stretching deep into the calves. Bring the left leg out back, and now up between the hands, and same thing. So just, I like to interlace my fingers and put them on my knee here. You can rest them wherever you want. If you need to put that right leg down, that's totally fine. But if you're able, just balanced here with some deep breaths. down, foot back, last and final part, we're going to push into downward dog, and then we're going to get into a push-up position, and we're actually going to end with a little bit of core work just to make sure we feel really strong and confident. So in this push-up position, you're going to, you can spread your feet a little wider, and what I would like you to do, we're going to just do 10 of these, trying to keep your back flat as if you're resting a cup of coffee on there, something you don't want to spill. You're going to extend your right arm, one, left arm, two, and we're going to do 10 total. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now you're going to drop down nice and strong and push up to stretch the back. You can lean your head back, take some deep breaths. And then back into child's pose for one more minute. Just again, I'm going to leave you for one minute in child's pose, considering confidence and how confident you are at the moment the things that you should deservingly feel confident about, the things you've worked hard in your life to achieve, just consider some of the things that make you confident and give you your self-belief.
Great, and hopefully you have more than one minute worth of things to feel confident about. But again, I think just remembering in this day and age with seeing so much of other people's lives, um, everyone is fighting battles and we all have ups and downs in confidence, no matter how our physical appearance looks, no matter the achievements people have, um, everybody has those same struggles. So not feeling alone if you're struggling with your confidence is important. And also just feeling free to be proud of yourself and to be able to speak about the things you do well is so important. So again, just take some time to really today focus on confidence and being big and taking up space. Thanks for following along. I like to end each practice by thinking for a minute about something I'm grateful for. So comment below and let me know how it went for you and something you're grateful for.